This is the podcast, not an interview. This is a conversation. No gimmicks, just reasons. 84 reasons. Come holla at me. What up, everybody? I am Ben Troop. This is 84 Reasons. No games, no gimmicks, just reasons. But not my reasons. We got a special guest today. Mary Wise done went out there and got another. She finds a way to go out there and find them wherever they are. She finds my next guest. I call it sophomore sensation. I already went through her freshman year. The great Gabrielle at Essex, but we call her Gabby. What's going on with you today, Gabby? Uh, not much. Thank you so much for having me. Now, Gabby, before I even get into what you what you're doing right now with 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 them uh with them Lady Gators volleyball squad, y'all still Mary still getting it done. Oh yeah. I hear you. I hear you bringing. I hear you bringing state championship to Hoover High School, man. What was that like? Yes, sir. Oh, it was amazing. Um, I got to actually win it with um my pretty much like my senior class. We had all grown up together since like seventh grade and like played together. So it was perfect. We just had such a fun time. We didn't even really know how well we were doing until we really looked back on it and we were just like we all have this common goal let's go do it now gabby i, I you know i i was like you know i know about all all them them incoming uh sensations most most people when they get recruited it's because coaching has seen a lot of a lot of uh, game tape on them your mom invited mary wise to listen you need to see my daughter she haven't seen you hit do anything and she looks at you and go yeah, I think I can work with that. That's her right there. Yeah, I, 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 th- I think I think I can work with that. Talk about the great Mary Wise being impressed just by what you possess as an athlete before she even saw you get out there and even show what you can do. Oh, just uh, honestly, blessings from God. The fact that Mary was just it, we were all in the right place and we just got to um, see each other and come down for a visit and get to go through Serving Pass and just being able to speak and talk with Mary, the way that she just brought all this light and energy to Florida and just seeing, like I started my recruiting in the 2017 year when they went to the national championship. So just seeing what they'd done and all that she had done for the team and talking with her and all the assistant coaches, I was just like, Florida's gotta be the place for me. Gabby, what is that like though? Obviously, you said, okay, I, I play volleyball. I wanna, I wanna, it's one thing to say I wanna play big time volleyball. It's another thing to say, I wanna play for the some of the best teams or the best coach. There go Mary Wise. Do you do you act as if okay, I know who that is over there? <laughs> I'm gonna act like I'm gonna act like it's just business as usual. Do you look out the corner of your eye and go, oh my freaking God, there go Mary Wise talking to my mom? <laughs> yes, yes, very much so. Like I remember she came to my court. And I like, I have a very locked in kind of vibe. So like, sometimes I don't see things. And like, after I finished my game, one of my um, seniors in my club came over and she was like, Mary Wise was on your court. And I was like, no way. Like, there's no way. And I was, she was like, yes, like, I'm serious. Mary Wise was on your court. And then I like saw her come back in another game. And I was like, Mary Wise is like actually here. Like she's watching me play. <laughs> so it was just like a surreal feeling. Talking with the great. Gabby Essex, only going to her sophomore season with them, with them, uh, you know, Lady Volleyball team out there making it happen. SEC. Now, Gabby, I gotta ask. Everybody wants to do what you're doing. Like, listen, I have, I have two daughters. You know, one, you know, one wants to play volleyball, the other one plays soccer, and I've gone to these tournaments. I'd be like, dude, I didn't know you can get this many teams in one spot. It's, it's like, a, what is it like for you knowing that I wanted to do something? And here I am going into my sophomore year at the, at the college that I chose. Not Nothing wrong with being chosen by a college, but look, man, I want to go to the college of my choice. What is it like? You're there now. I know you're in that beautiful facility now. I know y'all got private. I know y'all got chefs. Yes. So you got your own smoothing <laughs> machines, whatever y'all got these days. Talk about being in, playing SEC volleyball at a place like Florida to where you're getting big-time competition, whether you within the SEC or in these tournaments that y'all in. Yes, absolutely. So, like, for me, I grew up in Alabama and not really playing against the best of the best sometimes like but I went to a club where everybody like felt like it was the best of the best and I started out not so well and my teammates always just like really built me up and encouraged me and like honestly made me the person that I am today like I couldn't be there without them and I saw like 
so much greatness here at Florida. And I was, I was like, I want to be in the gym challenge every single day. And I genuinely feel that. And like, I always knew I wanted to stay close to home. So having some, a team that was, that went so far, had great coaches, had everything that I wanted in a program and still being able to be like close to home, which is the SEC for me. It was just amazing. You talk about when you first got into uh, your club that you went to, you, you weren't playing the best. What is it like, though, trying to be able to stand up? Because as you mentioned, it's a lot of young ladies that's in your position that say, Mom, mm-hmm. I think I want to go to the club circuit because I want to be, if I'm not going to get the best of the best in my state it, through high school, I want to be able to go club. How much did club volleyball really, really help you, especially because, you know, obviously people know you do club. Your head coach and Hoover like, wait a minute, Gab, you, you, I'm going to still play with y'all, but I want to make sure that I want to sometimes be able to see the competition that is that's around me. Yeah. So for me, like, um, I, I like remember seeing like other people be so good in like the like school circuit, and I really I kind of just didn't really know what I was doing. And then so once I got like my footing in the first part of club circuit, I was like, okay, like what can I do to get to the next level? And I found Southern Performance, and that's actually the same club that Merritt Beeson and I went to. So we actually got to play together from the time we were 13 all the way up until now and for the next three years. So it was just really nice, like seeing like people that were so dedicated to excellence, always wanting to play there. And even though like we weren't always like getting into the the gold bracket, winning, like going undefeated every weekend, like my club team, I think three different years we made history for our club because of all of the com- competitiveness that we went through. Now I know we already got into it earlier. You bringing that uh you bringing that uh championship that seven A championship to Hoover. Mary yeah. said, look. I, you said when you first started getting recruited, Florida was in the national championship. Mary said, look, this is the year first at the University of Florida. If you, if you, if you, if you haven't heard that, the women's outdoor track and field team get their first ever natty. Mary's saying, look, I've done it all. Mary no one, the SEC coach of the year so many times. She's like, look, man, give me the award. I've done this thing so many times. She's making the final four. She's done it all, but hoist up that national championship. What would that be like to say, look, she think that I'm, I'm, I can help her do it. What is that going to feel like when y'all not in the national championship, y'all actually winning that thing? It would be absolutely incredible. Like, it's a dream of mine. Like, one of my favorite things when I was being recruited was, like, knowing that Florida kind of hadn't done it because I was like, my class could be a part of the, the team that is the first to do it. And then especially coming from my senior year and getting here, I was like, my team, I could be the first to – first team to win a state championship in high school and first team at Florida to win a national championship. And just being able to do that for Mary would just be such an amazing thing because she's been coaching here for so long. And like you said, she's gotten so many accolades, but she hasn't had the chance to hoist the national championship trophy. So that would just be such an amazing like gift back to her for all the things that she does for us. That voice you hear right now is sophomore sensation Gabby Essex. Doing everything she can for that volleyball squad right now. Mary Wise gonna get them in shape, get them ready. Now, now, Gabby, I'm six five. You're you're six three. Now, what is it like being a six three young lady walking around saying, you know, you're used to looking down at people, men and women. What is it like just saying, look, man, thank God I'm in a place to where while I'm tall, equipment equipment team, they got me right. I'm good. I ain't got to work. But what is it like being six three? You know, a six three young lady walking around just in life, not even just for volleyball. Honestly, I love it because everywhere I go, I like can feel people looking at me and I'm like, oh my goodness, like it's so funny because like some at first, like I didn't use, like my height, like most girls are like, oh my gosh, I'm so tall. Like this isn't normal for me. But like the older I got, especially now in college, I'm like, I'm right up here with you, especially like when we're around like football or basketball. I'm like, I'm the same height or I'm taller than you. Like it's so funny. <laughs> How how has it been though? I mean, going from as you mentioned, you didn't want to be far away from home, but you are away from home. Mm-hmm. And what 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 is what is that transition like? Because a lot of times people hear, listen, I'm a student first, I'm an athlete second, but I'm away from home. How was I know you're going into your sophomore year, but how has it been? And how has your you know either teammates or as you mentioned, uh, 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 fellow student athletes, how how are they welcome you on campus? Oh, they just did such an amazing job, like. From the get, like getting here, we had, I had multiple teammates reach out to me, take me out to lunch or dinner just to get to know me before I even started. Like 
always including each other in everything. Uh, I feel like we're such like a family in our program that like I'm almost never homesick. Like sometimes around the holidays, like, yeah, I get a little homesick, but we're so bonded together like a family. It's perfect, in my opinion. Yeah, but you were part of the volleyball legacy at the University of Florida. Back when I was back when I was there, they had uh, Nicole McCray. They had uh, Aubrey Cruz. I think she was like SEC. You, you, yeah. but you're a part of that legacy now. And I, and I know the thing is, you guys are so gifted at what you're doing. You don't get that history lesson. Like, look, when I'm trying to, I can listen. Wanting to get coached by Mary Wise and actually being coached by her is a total different thing. What, what is, what is practice like? For a for for you with a, with a with a lady like Mary Wise, who you know the standard is already set pretty high. Oh, it's it's amazing because I love it because that's the exact reason that I chose it to have like this high expectation every time I walk in the gym. I don't think any time like but this summer, like for me, like this summer, I was like I'm practicing the way I want to play. Like, I was like, I'm going hard every single time. I don't care if it's just an open gym. I don't care if it's just a lift. Because when preseason rolls around, all the coaches are going to be back in here. Mary's going to be watching. And I want her to see, like, that I've grown, the team has grown, that we are ready to go and win an Addy this year. The one thing that Mary Wise said that stood out about you was your motor. She said, I mean, the thing about – and think about that. A, a coach that's seen it all. I, I just seen some of the greatest do it, but she's like – what was it about her, her motor? You just mentioned it. Look, I'm going hard regardless. Do your teammates know? Do your teammates look at you something like, oh, Gabby, listen, we just got five minutes. Just calm down. Nope, 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 nope. I got to go as if it's – I'm. so do you have a mindset of I'm all, it's always game day when you out there on the court? Yes, very much so, yeah. Like, I think going – like, going back to the Odom this year, I was, like, not even nervous. I was just super excited because of, like, how – not only myself, but my teammates treat our practices. Like we are always like balls to the walls, always going after everything, especially like having one of our post grads, um, Caroline Canote back in the gym. Like she just even like brings another level of excellence to us. Now, Gabby, obviously we appreciate you taking the time coming on this incredible podcast, you know, 84 reasons, but, but Gators Collective, uh, name and image likeness. You, you come into college to where it's being embraced. To talk to me about early impressions of uh, of NIL and obviously when it first happened. I mean, do you got to do you got to shut your DMs down saying, listen, talk to talk, talk to Ryan, talk to Jen, talk, talk to talk to my, yeah. you know, uh, talk to my representation. I'm out here trying to get ready for LSU, Georgia, Alabama. I ain't got time to be trying to endorse our products, man. No, no, no. I think it's an amazing opportunity because they're are so many like athletes past like before us that weren't able to do this and for us to have this opportunity is just really such a blessing and I really think Gator the Gator Collective has done an amazing job because at first when NIL came out it was like you only see like the top stars at each program being like endorsed and like seeing this especially like in the male sports but the Gator Collective has done such a great job in um, making sure that not only male sports but female sports and even like big stars small stars on every single team get a fair opportunity <laughs> this is 84 reasons i am being true no games no gimmicks just reason not my reasons gabby's reason we're talking about gabby essex star for the women's volleyball team now gabby you mentioned the opportunities when i think of women's volleyball i think of camps i think of showcases i think of the fact that there's a young girl right now in hoover no 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 Young girls that play volleyball, they know who Gabby is. Either I played against her or I've seen her. What is it like knowing that now you got a platform known as Gators Collective? You, if you say, look, I want you guys to help me bring a camp back to, you know, back to my hometown. Because while I'm one of the ones that got a chance to do it, I'm still a very, very small, uh, you know, a population of young ladies who got a chance to go. Have you talked to the Gators Collective about potentially saying, hey, man, this is the Gabby Essex volleyball showcase to where go hard or go home showcase? <laughs> No, I actually haven't. So, like, for me, I'm a very, like, kind of reserved person. So I was kind of just, like, like, I, like, push my teammates. And I'm like, yeah, you you do that. Like, that's so good for you. But, like, for me, I'm just like, oh, no, like, I'm okay. Like, I don't have to do that. So I've kind of just been kind of chilling back with it. But I definitely would love to do something more in the future. <laughs> And kind of come does it, does it help you with the fans though? Does it help like 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 because I know you guys do a lot of fan interaction stuff now, right? Like I, yeah. outside of just somebody mm, seeing you on the street wanting to mm, uh, um, uh, autograph, 
how is how how has that because nowadays you know you guys got this you guys got social media mm -hmm. uh everybody got an opinion everybody think they know you everybody don't mind giving you no opinion how has the fan interaction and when i say fan interaction i mean what they set up for you guys at least it's a controlled environment they're going to fans they're going to, yeah, how, how um how have you adjusted to that oh i think it's just been so like cool and surreal because i was like on the fan side before I was on the athlete side and so like I kind of just try to remember how like other players made me feel and kind of just be like very genuine and very happy like very excited to talk to people because I really am excited to talk to them it's really nice just seeing all the support that Gator Nation brings yeah now we mentioned earlier Gabby you in this nice new facility you know as a former football player you know once a football player always, we talk a lot of trash we always talk about oh you better be lucky we don't do this and we don't do have you dealt with the trash talking football players saying listen we're gonna come over there we're gonna play because we talk we we always want to talk and we don't even make it a gender thing we talk the trash to the baseball team softball yes. team, track team. but when it comes time to play my phone don't work oh, oh where you at so have you have you dealt with the trash talk of the football team saying yes. listen man i'll come up in oh, there and dominate goodness. we make jokes all the time about like our schedules and like especially like because volleyball soccer football we all go through like camp season at the same time they're always like oh like what do we have like it's camp season like Ours is so hard. And I was like, ours is harder. And they're like, no way. Like, we could totally survive your camp. And I was like, oh, I don't even try and say that I could survive football camp because I know I can't. But <laughs> um, I was like, yeah, volleyball is a lot harder than you think. And we're just we're just so funny. We're always making jokes with each other. Now, yeah. you, when, when I'm watching you play, obviously, you know, volleyball is a very, very explosive it's like an anticipation sport. Everything is anticipation, explosive. A, when you make a kill, is it all like obviously you waiting on you know you waiting on uh you know you waiting on the setter? Do you do, are you timing your jump? Because it seems like when y'all do it, when you hitting it, it's like no waste of motion. If I jump this high, that high, is it just doing it so many years or or just having a rapport with your setter? Like how do you how do you, how do you go about making you develop that that chemistry with your setter? Because every time I see you do it, I'm like, well, dude, I mean. Y'all, y'all be so far above the net. Like, what, what, what is that like? You know, a, a beautiful kill, a beautiful setup. You like, oh my god, I'm about to kill this thing. Yeah. So like, Dave, our assistant coach, has like the best system like in the world, and he really like makes us train and move as one. And like, just getting that setter connection between like the attackers and the setters is just perfect so when it comes together on game day it looks like man this looks so easy but for us like it's a lot of work put into it but it's super fun I really say that like if they can get a good pass and put up a good set then we have to get a good kill I always say when you got the best of the best you 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 have a very very good likelihood of becoming that you have the best coach in in uh in women's volleyball I mean that, that's taking nothing away from the other schools that will go unnamed Mary Wise yeah. she she's she, she's the one how yep. much better? How, how much better are you from freshman year to sophomore year? Strictly because, dude, I've been coached by this woman for a full year. I don't even know who that is when I look at tape from 2021. Oh goodness, yes. Honestly, I we my freshman year was pretty much every emotion you could have ever imagined, and like I went through the ups, the downs, everything in between. But like really after season, before spring season started, sitting down with my coaches, sitting down with the support staff, telling them my goals and what I wanted to do. And every single person in the program working so hard to make sure I was able to achieve my goals that I wanted to with my teammates. Like my teammates literally, we have accountability partners and we surround each other and we just lift each other up. And while the volleyball is one part, like the connection with our teammates is another part. And I really think just like having such a great connection with the team this year has made it so much easier to want to fight for them, want to be better for them, just work hard, you know? <laughs> Gabby, how much how much better does that make you on the court? Because the one thing that I give Coach Wise, I heard accountability partners, how much better? Because you said, look, when I'm on the court, the hardest thing is to just – Pull the emotion out, like, man, I'm trying to just, if you put a heart mount on, it's probably beating out of my chest. How much is the camaraderie away from the court making so that, man, I really know this young lady. Now, I, I know her, like, I know her family. I know her wants. I know what she wants and what she wants to become. How much more unstoppable do that make y'all as a team? Because, look, man, we a family out here. So when I tell you we, we take it personal out here on this court, 
I mean, we dead serious. Yeah. Um, so this before preseason, like really started after our report day, we went on a retreat and Coach Wise had us sit down, do like a series of like team building exercises to get to know each other, each other better, like physically, mentally and emotionally. And then we had like a really close night together and we got to talk about everything that like everybody been through, anything that was on each other's minds. And just being able to have that deeper connection with our teammates was just so amazing. And like we really saw it translate from off the court to on the court as well. We hear about durability. We hear about coachability. Uh, we never hear about vulnerability. We never hear that. That's not a word that's going to come up as far as like a player. Because, but to be able to be vulnerable when you're on your retreat with your teammates and say, because you know they're saying, come on. It's almost like once they know you, they know when you're not really talking to them. Come on, Gabby. Like, tell us how, what is this? I'm not asking you to reveal what you told them. I respect you guys' retreat. But how freeing was that to be able to say, man, let me let this out. So maybe they can know why I am the way I am, why my motor is the way I am. Uh, listen, man, I'm from Hoover, Alabama. Like, yeah. People think of Hoover, Alabama. They ain't thinking ladies volleyball. They're thinking football this and football that. Well, I'm, I represent the essence of that city. Was it freeing to you when you was able to just tell them, listen, this is where I am. This is what it is. Don't ask me. When we leave here, don't ask me about this no more. Yeah. But I'm telling you guys right now. Yes. Yeah, I think it's, like, a lot better and easier for us to understand each other's, like, off moments on the court if we know, like, what's going on for them off the court, too, as well. So, like, just being able to talk to each other about it, have open communication, just makes it so much easier to come together and handle our business on the court. Gabby, do you have any, you know, big-time athlete? best school in America, best co best coach in America. Do you have a pregame ritual that you go through? Um, yeah, I would say so. Mine like I always have to like listen to a certain my it's called um my soon to be forgotten playlist and it's like songs that like just take me back and like I always have like this one section that's like from last season and it always puts me in the mindset that's like this is where we came from and this is where we're going to be. And it keeps me really locked in. And then just like our usual, like pregame, we always do like little chants and little fun things and do it going back into the Odom for our scrimmage versus Jacksonville. Like I was so excited because I was like, oh my goodness, we haven't done chants in like almost a year. So that was like my favorite part. People always talk about the swamp. What is it like playing in Odom? Oh, so fun like being under the lights being there like with such incredible teammates such incredible coaches like it's everything and more than I could want and then having like Gator Nation just surround you it's just the most amazing feeling and Gabby I mean you know you miss your home singing sometimes you don't even feel it what do you miss the most about home and what do you tell your team like, listen man I know what y'all do in Florida with the heat and the humidity I get it but this is what we do in Alabama yeah um for me I think <laughs> well obviously I miss my mom a ton when I'm I'm away but sunsets in Alabama are just unmatched for me like sunsets in Florida are pretty but sunsets in Alabama are just unmatched there's more pink and yellow to it like the sun's just burning bright like I have this place that's like right on top of this hill uh um like pretty much down the street from my home it's where I went and took my prom pictures when the sun was setting and it's just like I would just go up there anytime anything went wrong anything was good if I had a good day that's just where my serenity is now Gabby you getting ready for you know year two uh with them gators we know oh, how yeah. we know y'all can't hide either. Y'all are circled on everybody's list in, in conference, out of conference, because everybody wants to be able to say, hey, man, yes, the Gators, they 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 are as good as advertised. What are you looking forward to the most in your sophomore season? Oh, I think I'm looking forward to most is like our depth and how much we can grow. We're a really young team, but we have the potential to go to the national championship and win a natty this year and i don't think a lot of people are going to expect as much as they should from us this year i think we're going to kind of be an underdog this year just coming from not have like losing like our five seniors and like pretty much replacing our whole starting lineup but they don't know what what all we have Mo team you most look forward to playing in the sec and the SEC, Kentucky. Kentucky every year. 
every year. We're coming to take that SEC championship back. Now, I know y'all don't get a chance to do it. I know I know Coach Wise ain't going to let you. Ain't no talking trash, you know what I'm saying, on the on the court. But, but, but y'all be over there on the side. Like, the sub be over on the side. Y'all look around and say, I can't stand this chick, man. She keep looking at me funny. I, if she look at me one more. How, how, how was the intensity level out there on the floor? Gosh, it's actually really fun because a lot of the time, most of us have grown up in like the prep career stage like being friends with each other so we're mo more so like making jokes with each other like mm, <laughs> instead of like there's not really like a lot of hatred or like jealousy in our game I feel like it's just a lot of like respect for each other and the way we play just because there's so many like different steps between like high school club and like USA teams that like where we have all come together at some point in our lives and gotten to play together so we have so much respect for each other's game but we all know like it's business as soon as our feet hit the court and then afterwards then we can be all hi girl <laughs> before I let you out of here funnest thing about playing for the Gators oh the most fun thing I would have to say that's a tough one. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> your teammates going to be listening like, she didn't mention me. She didn't say it was playing with me. She didn't say it was, hey, it's whatever. It don't got to be one thing. It could be more than one thing. Honestly, no, no, no. I definitely think it is my teammates. Like, my teammates have made this year so fun. Like, spring season, this season, and, like, just being able to make the team our own. I really love that our, like, Mary – and the rest of the coaching staff were like, make this team what you want it this year. Like, they're really letting us re, like, kind of restructure how we want to see the program and making it more like our, like, generational type thing, if that makes sense. Because there are like some things that were like 2010 rules and that like in 2022, it doesn't really apply to us. And we're like, let's just do this instead. And they're like so open to it. So I just love how close we are as a team and like, the willingness of our coaches. You've mentioned your mom a lot in this, a lot in this conversation. We have conversations that we don't do. I don't do interviews. I have conversations. I think they are much easier for me. What would you say to your mom, to your family? I mean, because the sacrifices that, that the people behind the scenes make is the reason why you get to be on the scenes. Yeah. What do you say to your mom or what do you say to your family knowing that, hey, mom, we did it. I'm here and I'm only going to make y'all even prouder than you already are of me. Yeah, I would just tell her, thank you so much for everything, every single thing, every trip that you took me on, club, everything that you gave up to make sure that I could be at some volleyball event, <laughs> uh, Lord knows, and that I just love her so, so much, and that every time I hit the court, it's for her. Gabby Essex, sophomore sensation, Alabama sunsets are real, the ones in Florida are pretty. Uh... Getting ready for that sophomore season, representing okay. for them Gators, Mary oh, yeah. Wise. They got listen right now. She's sitting in this real nice new facility. She just had some Brussels sprouts sprinkled with a little bit of lemon sauce on the top, cause they bougie now in Gville. Oh, they yeah. get, you know what I'm saying? But I am being true. She is Gabby S6. This is 84 reasons. No games, no gimmicks. Not my reasons, her reasons. Gabby, I appreciate you taking the time, man. Thank you so much, Ben. Appreciate it.